Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video I have a basically Target Con 2020 haul for you. I have a big box down on the floor as well. I uh, ordered a bunch of, or not a bunch, a couple pops that I really wanted from the uh, Target Con 2020. This is what the video is about and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna move this over. This is the first box that I'm opening because it's gonna be a swap for sure. Um, I can see the receipt hanging out of the box here. It's kind of funny. My big box that I got in the mail kind of had the tape was ripped because of, um, I guess something was set on top of it. But here's the first thing from this Target haul, Target Con haul, is the Target Con 2020 t-shirt. How could I not miss it? I really do like the box. The box is really cool. Uh, definitely going to be breaking this out and doing a shirt swap. That is what I meant. Let's get into this. I'm going to drop this box and my shirt's going to be on. All right. As you can see, I have the shirt on now. I love it. It is uh, exactly what it is on the box here. I don't have the abs and the... A chest there, so uh, I'm gonna put that down there. But that's what it looks like. Target Con 2020, definitely gonna be a Target shirt that I'm gonna be wearing to Target when I go do uh, hauls. But here we have it, the next box in the unboxing. Um, I like this tape, it's like barely hanging in there, but oh well. Ooh, I can see them already. Okay, so this one, I had to make sure you know what I'm even talking about, is. One of the dog holidays I ordered, as well as the Pathfinder. I think this is the Sweet 16 Pathfinder from the Target exclusive Funko Drop here. Tar Target Con 2020. How many times is he going to say it in the video? But there we have the Pathfinder Sweet 16. Really cool looking pop. Uh, this is definitely the girlfriend. She has the whole collection up on her uh, gaming setup out there. Move the knife over, but there we have our first pop. The next one is Doc Holiday here. Um, which one is this one? It's where he's holding his cup, and you can see that he's very ill by the eyes, but this is definitely, hands down, an amazing pop that I'm super glad to have, and I had to get a duplicate. Here's the four on the back of the commons. I don't even have the Doc Holiday common. We'll be getting that here soon. I really like the sides of these boxes. It would really, I'm thinking about doing an out of box where they're standing in front of the box because this is amazing. Uh, no, no damage. These pops look really great. Let's jump into the last box which is this big boy here, which I thought was weird because I think there's only two pops in here, or they should be, because I ordered a, a, well, I can't really, I don't want to really say it, but I think there's only two items in this box, which confuses me. This is a really big box for two pops. Well, not just two pops, but we're about to find out exactly what was put in here. Okay, so they're, two boxes inside of a big box. Now I'm just curious on what did they ship me? Because two pops in these, this big of a box, I'm gonna set this down. Um, and we're gonna open up this one. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, other Doc Holiday. If it is, I'm just gonna put it to the side. You've already seen it. This, yeah, fabric tape. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it was very well padded, which this doesn't make sense like this, but you can see there the pop looks destroyed. I'm going to pull it out and push the box down here in my pile. <laughs> Great job, Target. Look at this box. It's mint condition. I'm going to sell it for probably about 30 30 with not, I'm not going to do free shipping because this pop right here is a grail. Just kidding. <laughs> but this is definitely going to be my out of box pop, I'm guessing, right here is why. Uh, bottom's already open. Why not jump into it? <laughs> so, here's the pop. This is perfect uh, kind of to do an out of box spin because I have a spin thing, but I would rather use my fingers. 
But there we have the Doc Holiday with his mug and it looks like his little key, uh, pocket watch and his very ill eyes. That's, it's, it's accurate. That's what I like. All right, so I'm gonna move on. Put this behind there. And hopefully my next one, if it comes out damaged, we're gonna have a problem target. But it's weird that it got damaged inside of a box in a box that doesn't make sense so it was definitely damaged before being placed in the box and they were just like ah just ship it that way but oh well i ended up getting two and there are reasons for that right there all right so here's the next one okay i can kind of see it's in a bigger box there's nothing else in there but i did have to grab the chester cheetah glow in the dark pop and tea set um this is definitely one of the ones I really wanted in the collection. Uh, I'm actually debating on opening this. Um, there's, ha there's a bunch of unboxings, but this one is the glow in the dark one. I'm on the fence about it right now. Um, but this is one, uh, definitely one of the ones I'm gonna be keeping, so why not just open it? Uh, when I say keeping, Okay, I was about to say, ah, I start to start see me chewing on it. But yeah, the reason why I really like this one as the pop ad icon, because I'm a Cheeto fan. When I'm hungry at work, we go to the gas station on break and grab some Cheetos. I like Cheeto puffs, I like the crunchy Cheetos. Don't do a whole lot of the spicy hot Cheetos, call me crazy. But of course they make these really hard to open. The tab, here's the t-shirt. Don't really want to pull the t-shirt out because nothing special. I mean, hey guys, if you haven't seen it, I'm just kidding. But here we have the Chester Cheetah t-shirt. And, uh, what am I doing? Just pull it out, man. Just pull it out. Uh, here we go. Definitely going to be keeping it. Uh, here we are. It is the Chester the Cheetah Poppin' Tea, the one that it comes with. Really awesome. I really like this shirt, actually. I'm not gonna do a tea swap. You know what? Why not? And just like that, boom. Love the t-shirt, had to put it on, why not? Let's see the pop. We're gonna be doing a, uh, why not do the glow in the dark check on this thing. If you haven't seen it, here you are. You're gonna be seeing it right now. Um, here is Chester the Cheetah. In the box, I mean, it looks like the original box. I definitely want to be trying. I'm going to try to get the uh, Hollywood uh, exclusive one, but here's Chester the Cheetah. And let's see if I can pull them out nice and easy. Getting a little bit better, uh, getting a little bit better with this. Learning how to use the knife. Well, I thought I was. There we go. I'm going to pull them out. And he's in one of these uh, two things where you two pieces of plastic together. I'm gonna crank down this one, crank down this one and put it up against the light. Now I'm gonna have a big white spot when I do turn these lights off. Um, I'm kinda curious to see how good of a glow he has. I'm gonna get him real nice. Now I'm gonna have to kinda turn this one off. Really bright guys, sorry. All right. So here we have the glow on the Chester the Cheetah. Let me turn my light off in the background to enhance this. Oof, don't make that fall. Really hard to see, so let me charge this one more time. Looking directly in the light. I need to get one of those UV lights. I can't really see right now to actually do these. So here we have it's pitch black. The Chester, the cheetah, I like how it kind of glows through his face. It's really hard for me to see right now because there's dots all over my eyes from the bright lights. But that's the Chester cheetah glow in the dark on video. All right, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. Mm. Ooh. And that's pretty much all the pops that I had in here. I'm going to put him back in there. These little things are really hard to push down in there. Okay, so I got them back in the packaging. I'm gonna put them back in the box. And we're gonna bring a conclusion to this video for all the pops that I pulled. All right. 
Give me one second. And just like that, that's four sh uh, shirt swaps in here. I think it's three shirt swaps. Shirt swaps, hard to say. But all right, let me know which one you liked from the video. I did have the Target Con t-shirt as well. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite from the haul today, as well as the damage one that I have here that is now going to be out of box due to the shipping process or basically the warehouse because it was damaged before put in the box because it was in a box in a box. Let me know. But if you did like, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell down in the bottom. I will see y'all in the next video, and I'm out.